What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com and today we're unboxing Nintendo's new glasses free 3D handheld gaming console, the 3DS. Now here at SmartKTai.com we typically only cover smartphones and tablets that run smartphone operating systems, but seeing how the glasses free 3D display tech is starting to pop up from multiple smartphone manufacturers, we figured we would give the 3DS a quick look. So if you're not into handheld gaming or 3D in general, uh, please bear with us as we put out another video or two with our impressions on the new technology. Anyway, for those of you who missed it, last week at CTIA Wireless 2011, Sprint unveiled the HTC Evo 3D and AT&T announced the LG Thrill 4G glasses-free 3D smartphones. I believe both phones use 3D displays made by Sharp, uh, who also makes the display for the 3DS, so that's definitely interesting. Uh, so be sure to check out our hands-on videos with those devices to learn more about them. So let's get to the unboxing of the 3DS. This is the Cosmo Black version, but there's also one available in Aqua Blue. The device will cost you a whopping $250, so it's definitely not cheap. Uh, let's take a quick look around the box here. So here on the front, we have the 3DS right there. This is Nintendo 3DS. If you turn to the side, you can actually see that it's plastered in warnings about the uh, 3D. On the back, just your basic uh, overview of the device, and it says a new dimension in enter entertainment. So we'll go ahead and open it up here. Looks like we have some seals to take off. So there's one, and there's the other. Flip open the flap. And here we go. So we open it up. Looks like we have some manuals here. Let's take a quick look through these. Probably not too interested in them, so I won't take up too much time. Here we have our augmented reality cards, so we can use our cameras on the 3DS to play some mini games. We have some street pass info quick start guide in multiple languages and then here is this massive 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 manual looks like we have some nice colored pictures in there then we have Nintendo Club warranty information stuff like that so let's get go ahead and move on here uh, looks like here is the 3DS uh, we'll take that off here's a quick look at it so I'll put that off to the side and we'll get back to that in a second. Let's see what else is in the box first. So here's something interesting. This is actually a charging dock for the 3DS. So you don't actually have to plug it in and out all the time. You can just rest your 3DS right on top of it. So that's pretty cool that Nintendo uh, included that with the console. It's very convenient. And then over here we have our charging adapter. Pull that out, give you an idea of what kind of charger it is. All right, so that's all that's in the box, just the bare essentials, and then plus we have the charging dock, which is nice. All right, so let's get to the main attraction here. Here we have the 3DS. Let's get a close look at the lid. You can see that it looks very polished. Well, I'm not sure how good it shows up on camera, but I can tell you that in person, it looks very sleek, very polished. Uh, at least for this black colored version. If we flip it over to the other side, it actually has an uh, industrial design here. We have our, our screws showing up right there. Uh, you can see that it's two-toned for the black version. It's black on top. And then we have sort of a metallic uh, dark gray color over there. So let's open it up for a second. Let me take that out. Actually, let's close it. Check out the back of it first. So here on the back, we have our right shoulder button. Let's get a close look at that. Next to that, we have our charging port. And next to that, we have our game cartridge slot. Then we have our collapsible stylus. So you can expand it and then collapse it down. Put it back in its rightful spot here. We have our IR uh, sensor right there. And then over here we have our left shoulder button. So that is the back of it. On this side, 
This is the 3D depth slider on top here. I'll show you more in a second. Under that we have our wireless, wireless switch and then we have our wireless uh, notification light. Let's go over to the front. We have our 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Next to that we have our power light and then our charging light. Let's go to this side now. We have our volume slider. And then over here we have a SD card slot. So it comes with a 2 gigabyte SD card, which is nice. Put that back in, close it up. Okay, back to the lid, we have our 2.3 megapixel rear-facing cameras. These can be used to take 3D pictures. Get a closer look at those. And we'll flip open the 3DS. So here we have our front-facing camera up top. On either side of the screen, we have some speakers. The top screen is actually a 3D display. Uh, glasses free 3D display, I should say. Uh, it's 3.53 inches with 800 by 240 resolution and the bottom screen is a resistive touch screen uh, and it's 3.02 inches with 320 by 240 or QVGA resolution. Going back to the side over here we have our 3D slider so that adjusts the depth or the parallax barrier so you can make it maximum or if you want to make it less intense you can move it down a little bit. Get a closer look at that as well and the top display. So if we move down here we have our circular analog pad. Nice addition for the uh, DS line. The other DS's don't have that. And below that we have our D-pad. Good amount of clickiness to them. And this is smooth as well. So under the touch screen we have our select and start buttons and then we also have a home button. So when you press this, this will actually suspend the game and you can go back to the home screen and then jump back into the game wherever you left off. So that's a nice feature. Here we have our X, Y, uh, A and B buttons. Zoom in on those. And then we have our power button right here. Looks like I turned it on, so we'll see how that goes in a second. Nintendo 3DS. Go ahead and click that. Go to next. Telling us to turn the 3D all the way up. Activate 3D. Alright, so looks like the lettering it's popping out, the background is going back. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but I can tell you that uh, the 3D effect is amazing. Doesn't really look too much like it's popping out at you. Uh, some of the foreground will sort of uh, lift up off of the screen and the background will be pushed in a little bit. But we'll have more on our impressions on the 3D. Alright, so this device also has a built-in gyroscope and an accelerometer for motion sensing controls. Uh, so those will probably come in handy later on with some games. Um, there aren't too many launch titles right now. I believe there are about 16. I'll have to double check that, but only some of them are worth getting. Uh, but I'm sure there will be plenty of gaming to go with this device. So this was the unboxing of the Nintendo 3DS. I'll film at least one more video talking about uh, the software and 3D effects after I put the 3DS through its paces, so stay tuned for that. I'm also interested to see how the Glasses Free 3D compares to what I've seen with smartphones like the Evo 3D and Thrill 4G, otherwise known as the Optimus 3D. And of course, when those phones finally get released, I'll be sure to let you know if I notice a difference, at least from a gaming standpoint. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash I'm CJ from smartktai.com. Thanks for watching.